the plan is to review them. The reason being given is that we haven't reviewed them since the times of uh, President Atta Mills when they were set. So now with our 29 tolling points across the country, we are going to be charging more per vehicle. You've heard the people of Ghana say they are not keen on this. Well, many of them who spoke to us on our show said they are not keen on this. But let's talk about the rationale behind it and whether indeed we will achieve what we want to by increasing tolls. I want to start with you, uh, Dr. Theo Achampong, uh, bringing in the bigger picture of our economy and how we must pay for new roads and for the maintenance of roads. Is road toll increase the answer? Um, yeah, good morning once again. Um, clearly, we've got serious challenges with the economy. We're not raising enough uh, revenues. On the other side, the expenses keep going up and up. Um, and that is like the bigger um, conversation we need to have, uh, of which the road is just a, a subsector to, to look at. When I listen to your uh, part, uh, callers, you know, call in, what is very clear in my mind, um, which uh, is confirmed, is that we actually need a very serious debate in Ghana about the quality of the roads in this country. And you can talk to any structural engineer or civil engineer like uh, Abdullahi, and I'm sure they will have cause to complain about the quality of the roads. You talk to citizens, and uh, there are issues about potholes, uh, roads being washed away after six months of construction, um, and um, on top of that, we're collecting um, more and more money I mean, by way of these uh, tools, uh, ostensibly to fix the roads. But at the same time, we're not seeing any you know, improvement in the quality of the road productivity um, uh, indicator. So let me give you maybe two, two numbers right here. If you look uh, from an economist angle, you would, we have something we call the gross fixed um, capital formation. And if you look at the numbers for Ghana on a year by year basis, it just goes up and down, up and down. And in fact, uh, in 2019, the annual growth rate was actually negative 10%. This captures both public and private investment, but it goes specifically into things like infrastructure, but also, you know, of which you can actually count root. So the point really is that we are collecting these monies, uh, some of which goes into the road fund but we are not seeing a necessary improvement in the quality of the roads. And that is where I think the conversation needs to, needs to uh, be hopped on. And I fully support uh, the points that the other callers have raised. Because we have a very serious problem in this country with road fatalities. Uh, the numbers again bears this out. We've got a 12 to 15% increment in road fatalities on a year on year basis since 2008. And road trauma has actually been classified as amongst the top 10 causes of deaths 